Alright guys, we back. Anyways, in this video, I'm a little quiet because, you know, don't want my parents to beat me up. But anyways, in this video, I'm going to show you can make this GNN transition in Vegas Pro. Now, all of the clips, masks, sound effects, and project file will be given to my boosters. So if you're not already boosting my server, make sure you do that. But yeah, let's begin with the video. Alright, so here we are in Vegas, so I'm doing this tutorial in 30 FPS. Now, this doesn't really matter, but if you want to follow the tutorial step by step, then make sure it's at 30. Anyways, click apply, click OK. And what we have here is a song and clips. So what we're going to do is sync them up to the song. Right, so now I have it all synced and what I've done is I synced the first clip to the kill, then the second one to the kill and then I found the transition beat. So the transition beat is this. As you can see, a little clap over here, so make sure you have something similar as that. If you don't, that's fine, but you know, it just makes the video way better. But then make sure your first clip is touching the second clip like that. And now you can add your velocity and effects. Right, so then you want to make a screenshot of the transition end. So this is where our transition will end. You want to click on this button, save snapshot, click save. Then you're going to get a screenshot. So then you want to make five new video tracks. So right click, insert new video track and do this five times. Just like that, then you want to insert your image that you made and split it up. So we're going to put this in the middle of our impact and our transition end. So it's going to be like over here in the middle like that. So now we're going to go to masking. So we're going to mask this image out. What you want to do is click on this pan and crop icon. Make sure sync cursor is enabled. Then enable masking over here and then go to this pen tool. And now you can begin masking out your skin. So you can use control to move around, but then you just got to mask out the skin. Just like that. So once you have the mask done, make sure you have it selected and head on over to mode and click on negative. So we're going to have the outside mask. Now what you want to do with this is copy it over to the top. Go to pan and crop once again. Make sure at the first point and set the mode to positive. So just like that. So now we don't need this at the moment. We're going to move it out the way and we're going to work with this. So head on over to video effects. Search for drop shadow and then copy my settings. So these are my settings. Make sure to copy them. But once you have that done, search for blur my curves, then apply the default to one onto here and then set shutter duration to 0.4 like that. So now we're going to keyframe some stuff. So keyframe Z distance, rotate, shift X and shift Y. Then of course, make sure sync cursor is enabled. But now what you want to do is set shift X to 0.065 and then the same thing for shift Y like that. Then you want to set rotate to minus six and then finally set Z distance to zero. As you can see, it's not fully zero but it works so now you shouldn't be able to see the mask but if you can still see the mask then make sure you move the shift text around until you don't see the mask anyways we have that done go to the very end of the image over here and set back z distance to one rotate to zero and then shift text and shift y back to zero so now we're gonna make this a little smoother as you can see just linear so what you wanna do is set shift y to smooth shift text to smooth then rotate to fast fade and then right click on here as you can see, there is nothing there, but I promise you there is something. So right click on it, click manual, and then on the other side as well, over here, right click, click manual. So now make sure you're clicked on Z distance over here, and then click on this curves button. So this is just the graph editor, and we're going to mess with it a little bit. So make sure you extend this part that you can see what you're doing. Then you want to take this pin and drag it up like me and basically copy this graph So do this and then this pin just extend it forward like that so your graph should look something like this once you have it looking like that go back to lanes and then you, where you see shift x and shift y you want to move them by two or four frames forward so i'm going to move them by two like that and this is how it should look like so if we close out of here as you can see we already have ourselves some sort of a transition and if you like what you see you can continue so now put your image that you made on the fifth track over here and then you want to copy it so copy it once and once you did that move it to the left by two frames then do it again copy it move it to the left by two frames and then again move it to the left by two frames and make sure everything is ending at the end like this and now we're gonna tweak some blur more curves settings so as you can see if we go over here we can see that rotate is at minus six so what we're gonna do is gonna go to the one below it go to effects set a rotate to minus eight and then drag these keyframes all the way back with the spin then do similar things to the next one 
at the bottom go to effects now instead of minus 8 we're gonna do minus 10 so we're going by 2 then of course move this all the way to the right and then finally the last one let's go over here set it to minus 12 and then move this all the way back so once you have done all of that you should have something like this and you should have a smooth transition so now what we need to do is add in our skin so put that boy on top like that then you want to copy the effects from this image so you want to right click copy then right click on your no, skin mask right click selectively paste event attributes and make sure to tick the third option click ok and as you can see we pasted the effects from the bottom image now we're gonna tweak some settings because this just looks diabolical so go to effects make sure you're on blur my curves then disable keyframing or shift y shift x and z distance make sure to set them to back to default values so z distance on one and then shift x and shift y to zero so now we're gonna animate shift y so click on this animate tool now set this one to minus 0.5 we're gonna change this later but don't worry about it and go to the very end and set it to zero so now I set this point right click on it make manual and then this one make it manual so now go into the curves tab and then put this point up and once you have it up go back to lanes go to this point and instead of 0.5 set it to 0.7 like that so then go to curves and the reason we do this so that we have this point and that it's not just gone so make sure to extend this up and then copy my graph so do something like this like what i'm doing right now yeah this graph should be fine and once you have done this graph you can close out of this and you have done the main part of the transition so now we're gonna add the final thing so we want to make a new video track go to media generator and then search for solid color put the white one onto here you know splice it up and then put it at the end of the transition then you want to fade it out and then decrease the opacity by like a little bit so something like that so once you have done this you'll have the sort of light Ryan, for the final part of the video, we need to make the transition flow well with the first clip. So what we're going to do is apply blur more curves. Make sure to stretch that up. Apply a default one onto the first clip. So as you can see, my first clip has some effects on it, but that doesn't matter. So now set the settings. So set shutter duration to 0.4. Make sure wrap X is at reflect and wrap Y is at reflect. Then you want to keyframe shift X and shift Y. So go down in this keyframe tab, go down, then go on the start of the transition, which is over here add two keyframes for a shift x and shift y then go like one thirds of the way in the transition so somewhere around here move your shift x and make sure that the character is like in the middle so you see what i mean something like that and once you have that go at the very end of the clip and move your shift x sort of back to zero so something like 0 0.4 is fine but yeah, now make all of the keyframes to smooth fade like this right click smooth fade and then once you have done all of that your transition should be done so this is how she look like so yeah that's what it looks like and if you want the project file the clips the sound effects and more make sure to boost my server it's discord.gg pixie and as always this was pixie thanks so much for watching i'm out